Ah, just prestige. Got my M16. Just trying to do a little work. Ooh. I just put a crazy bullet into that guy. Oh, look at that crazy bullet. Do the jerk. Uh, do the jerk. Uh, do the jerk. Drop to the floor. Drop to the floor. Drop, 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 drop. Ladies and gents, this is Idaho Dub with another Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. I am playing some Domination on one of the new maps from the Annihilation map pack. This map is called Silo, and I'm really, I'm really digging this whole new map pack. I know that basically all they do is take some old maps. I'll slide back in there, Will. There we go. All I, I know that they usually just take some old map packs and then, you know, throw some digital grass or digital snow on the ground, throw a couple trucks in there, and charge us 15 bucks. And this is the third map pack, so essentially, if you bought the game and all the map packs, you have played, or paid, played, paid for two games. So, that's what they do, and that's, you know, I gotta buy the new maps, I gotta show you guys the new maps, but if you're gonna buy a map pack, if you haven't bought any yet, this is definitely the one I would buy. Or the second one, I think, was that the first strike map pack? Maybe it wasn't, I don't remember which, what it was called, but the second map pack is pretty good as well. The first one was eh, it was okay. And if you notice on the little mini map, there's a couple of blue triangles. That's because I'm playing this game and I've been playing recently with some subscribers. And as I said in my last video, I started a Facebook page for this Idaho Dub channel. So if you like the page on Facebook, and I'm sure most of you have Facebooks, then you will be able to be updated on when I'm doing some subscriber sessions. And I've actually been loving it, man. I've been playing with some people. Some of you are dang good at this game. I mean, real good at this game. So I've been loving that. I think the other night I played with a couple subscribers and we didn't lose a game. I think we won like six in a row. And so if I didn't have to work, I would have just played all night and kept on getting the W. So yeah, if you want to play with me sometime, make sure you go like the Facebook page and I'll be putting up updates when I'm, when I'm gonna be having some sub sessions. And I don't know if you guys can hear it through the mic or not. I actually had to switch mics. I'm using kind of a crappy headset mic instead of my normal condenser mic because outside right now, there's like 20 or maybe not 20, maybe that was an exaggeration, but there's a lot of trucks. There's like this vacant parking lot in front of my apartment, right? And it's filled with all these trucks right now and some RVs and stuff. And so I thought maybe they're like having an RV sale or something, but I saw like all these stars on this, on like this 18 wheeler that has like a trailer and there's all these doors with stars on them. And I was like, maybe they're filming something. And then today I found out they're actually filming for this TV show that does film here in Portland. And the TV show is called Leverage. I've never actually seen the show. I'm assuming it's like a cop show because, I mean, there's, there's a pretty good chance that it's a cop show. Most shows on TV are cop shows or reality TV shows. So if you hear any sound in the background, probably you'll, you probably won't hear it. But if you do, you can write a letter to TNT, I think, is the people who makes who make the show leverage, you can write them and complain that, you know, the audio is distorted on this video. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> but how was your guys' 4th of July? Mine was swell. If you follow my vlog channel, you know that I was in Bend, Oregon this last weekend, did some whitewater rafting, and checked out these cool caves. They're called the lava tunnels. They're pretty sweet. Chopper, gunner, gunner. You know, for me, the sun and summertime in general is awesome. And I think it's probably a lot of people's favorite time of the year. But for me, it's particularly awesome because I have never lived in an area where there's that many months of sunshine. Like when I was raised in Idaho, so there's snow like nine months out of the year. So when summer came, I was like, yes, soak it up. And now I live in Portland and it rains nine months out of the year. So especially in people in Portland, I, I tend to notice that people in Portland love the sun like way more than anybody I've ever met. Because when the sun comes out, like it seems like everybody comes out of their, out of their holes and everybody's just out, they're having a great time. So I really love summer. And this last weekend over the 4th of July got me like thinking, you know, reminiscing about all the awesome stuff that I do in the summer or that I have done in the summer. You know, summertime brings floating on the river, barbecues, golf, like a ton of stuff that you can do outside. And I, I started thinking like some of my best memories from my childhood are in the summer. I mean, the 4th of July weekends, where I'm from in Idaho, they have like the balloon festival. So they bring all these hot air balloons, 
put them up in the air and it's just a good time there's like you know all these vendors come into town they have like all these little shops eat some kettle corn and like my roommate was saying last week because they were we smelt kettle corn right my roommate's like oh i smell kettle corn so you know somebody's about to overpay for overpay for something man i can't talk no good and that's true you know summertime also brings these vendors these street vendors that charge you a ton of money for something that probably didn't cost a lot of money to manufacture but nonetheless summertime provides some of my best memories and so my question to you is what are some of your best memories do they come in the summer probably so maybe not maybe you're from california so it's like summer all the time there or florida wherever else that you know you you people who are have an abundance of sun are from what are your, some of your favorite memories? They don't have to be in the summer, but I bet most of you who probably don't live around the sun year-round, or live around the sun, you know, you know what I mean, have nice weather year-round, I bet a lot of your memories come from the summer. And I'm going to share a little story about my summers. There was this one summer, I think it was my junior year, and when I think back on my best summers, it is this summer because this summer I did the most. Like I just like had the most fun. It was just like carefree. I had a summertime job, but it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't too stressful. It was full time, but like it was during the day. So it wasn't a big deal. Like I got my stuff done during the day and I had all, you know, I had all night. Plus I had like, you know, a couple of days off a week just to like enjoy my summers. So this is how like my typical summer day went that I didn't have to work. And sometimes it still went this way even when I had to work. I had a couple friends who had boats and we were pretty close to a lake like 30 minutes away and so like a couple times a week we would get the boat we would drive to this lake and we would just go wakeboard and kneeboard and just like kick it on this boat and sometimes we would do it after work so it'd be like five o'clock and be like hey you know we've got like four more hours of sun let's go over to the lake real quick and you know we'd get a bunch of like Mountain Dew and get some like sandwiches and we just go hit it up and it was awesome and then after the lake, we would always go to the drive-in theater. Now, I'm from a really small town, so we still have a drive-in theater. And there's not very many of them left in the U.S. I don't know if there's any outside of the U.S. or not. But there's not a lot left in the U.S. So the thing to do when I was younger, and especially my junior year of high school, was to go to the drive-in. And ironically, it's called the Spud Drive-In. And the photo that you see on my channel and on my Facebook page that photo of the spud is actually from, from that drive-in. So the thing to do was go to the drive-in, and we'd go literally like four or five times a week. And we didn't go to watch the movies. There were a few things you went to do at the drive-in. The first thing was you went to socialize with your friends because you know a lot of a lot of people were there, and that was like the that was like the go-to thing. If you couldn't figure out anything to do for the night, you were going to the drive-in. The next reason you went to the drive-in was for their food. They have these things called the Gladys Burgers, and they are delicious. They are like some of the best burgers on the planet. Hands down, delicious burgers. They have awesome fries. You know, I'd get a double-double. That's a, that's a double Gladys Burger. Get some fries, and then they have Cherry Coke or Vanilla Coke, you know, when they splash all that syrup in there. And so that was bomb. And the third thing, and probably the most important thing to a teenage boy is you went there to mac on the ladies that's what you did you know i went water skiing sometimes went golfing during the day and then i went and macked on the ladies at the drive-in and it was like some of the best times of my life so that's what i did in the summer and i want to know what you guys did in the summer what are some of your favorite past memories of the summertime and I guess if you live in the sun year round or in areas with nice weather year round, you can just you can talk about some of your best times. But for me, it was the summertime. Sun's out, water skiing, going to Mac on the ladies at the drive-in, nothing better. But I'm about to wrap this game up. Thanks to all the people who played in this game with me, all my subs, and I appreciate all of you watching, especially all the love on my last video with the 200 subs. Remember to go check out the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Drop to the